G'day guys, now today we're up here at the Mangrove Creek Dam Catchment area and we've been to Wild Mazda and we've picked up the brand new Mazda 6. Now the exciting thing about this Mazda 6 is that finally Mazda has listened to everything that Mazda owners have had to say and they've put a turbocharger on the 2.5 litre engine that they're running. So not only are we running the Skyactiv-G engine which is a super fuel efficient engine but now we've popped a turbocharger on there to bring so much more power and performance to an already fantastic driver's car. Sitting in the front seat of the Mazda 6 GT is just like every other Mazda, which is a good thing. I love Mazdas. I think that they are some of the best cars on the road today for the right price. Now, obviously there are cars out there that are really exceptional, but they are really expensive too. Um, I find the Mazda range, the whole Mazda range in fact, is a whole lot of car for the money that you spend on it. This is the GT model. This is a slightly more specced up than a standard Mazda 6. We've got the turbo engine, we've got nice leather interior, and we've got some little fancy things in the back seat as well that make a difference. Now we're in the back seat here of the Mazda 6 GT, and it's a very comfortable place to be. Now I'm five feet 10. I'm sitting behind where I had my seat set up to drive. Four to five inches of knee space here, plenty of leg room. The headroom, eh, about an inch. To be honest, if you're six feet or over wanting to sit in the back seat of here, it might be a little bit of a tight squeeze, but for average people like myself and for kids, it's a really great location to be sitting. Now, the other cool thing is this fold down armrest, which makes it super comfortable to be sitting here in the back seat, but there is a fold up hatch. Inside the hatch is an area where you could put your devices, in particular phones and maybe kids games. Plug them into the USB charger, which is here two cup holders and also controls for your seat warmers in the back seat and I think that's a very cool thing to have seat warmers in the back seat as well as the front. Our initial driving impressions of the Mazda 6 GT, it's just like every other Mazda, they've been built purely for the driver experience. The Kodo design from the Japanese car maker, uh, they make everything about these cars purely for the driving experience which is an awesome thing so even though it's not a sports car it drives almost as good as a sports car it gives you that sporty feeling and uh, and that real confidence gripping the road around corners now this being the new 2.5 litre turbo engine has a whole lot more poke than the standard 2.5 litre unturboed engine and uh, it really sort of brings this car into its own. It actually makes it what it should have been many years ago. The visibility out of the car is absolutely spot on. Uh, the mirrors are in perfect positions. The windows are designed so you actually can see uh, right around you almost 360 degrees really easily. All the controls on the steering wheel are just like all the other Mazdas. They're all in exactly the same spot, so it's easy to jump from car to car, and your hand will fall exactly where it needs to fall to make any adjustments. Now in this Mazda 6 GT model, it comes with the leather interior, Napa leather, and the leather is really comfortable. All of the seats have seat warmers. The two in the back seat, two in the front seat, uh, seat warmers all round for those winter chilly mornings where the leather is a bit chilly to sit on. So I've had my mum visiting as well for the last couple of days and I dragged her along on this review uh, just so we could spend some time together. But let's ask mum what she thinks 
of the Mazda 6. And what are your thoughts of the Mazda 6 GT? Well, number one, it's very comfortable to sit in. I have great view in front here, it's just beautiful. The seat encompasses me, I feel secure even when we go around these crazy bends. I'm held in, which is fabulous. So what were you saying before about your handbag matching the stitching oh, of the dashboard? Yes, yes, I did my handbag. I have this lovely stitches in the front and I have my lovely handbag here. Matches. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you've got a hand, got to have a handbag to match the car. There you go, folks. You've got to pick your car to match your handbag. You heard it from my mum right here. <laughs>